Hi, choosing the unsuitable file format for storing your data can impact heavily your monthly bills and performance, especially when using cloud services. So let's see how. So whenever you have an analytic workload to put in place to process some data coming from different sources and you need to expose uh, either to some analytics workload to an end user to other application you have to deal with two challenges about data storage the first one is about the costs and the second one is about the performance and the question is why so let's check the first format the raw based format so we have the following data as an example uh, and if you would like to to store store it as a row based um, so basically uh, we have different type of events with a colon product id and the colon price so uh, the data is stored sequentially uh, next to each other and for example, if we would like to make some uh, calculation or some analytics or some, uh, uh, let's say, uh, SQL statement uh, on, the, on the price column. So the whole data need to be scanned uh, in order to extract those values to, to make uh, the average of, of uh, this, uh, this column, for example. On the other hand, if we look to column based, like Apache Parquet with the same data we have. So the data when stored to column based format will be uh, stored or let's say grouped by column. Uh, for example, if, if uh, we look to the price column, they, they will be grouped together. And if we would like to make uh, some calculation on it, they will be directly accessed um, and all we do not need to scan all, all the, the data that we have to make, for example, uh, the average of the, the, the different, um, different value uh, that we have. And experiment shows that performance on data access could be enhanced 34 times. The data size is reduced by 87% and saving related to the storage cost are up to 99%. So you can find the source below. So it's the demo time. So the demo is about getting some CSV data from cloud storage on GCP. Uh, the data will be processed by um, uh, PSPARC job on cloud data proc, then stored back in another uh, bucket in, in cloud storage. So first, we are going to create uh, the data per cluster, which is basically a Spark cluster uh, where we will run the PSPARC job. I'm using Cloud Shell on GCP. I will make a zoom. So basically, uh, I'm, I'm using gcloud command to create data per cluster um, with uh, two workers uh, with machine N1 Sander 4. Um, uh, with image, uh, Debian, uh, Debian image. So we launch it. It will take a few minutes. So the cluster is created. So let's check it on the console. So we have, we have the cluster created in Europe West 1. Um, and we still have an empty list of jobs. And now we are going to submit to the Peace Park job. With gcloud command also. So basically it's um, a Peace Park job. Uh, Python file to uh, um, to make the conversion from CSV to uh, Apache Parquet. You can find the source code on GitHub on the link below. It will take a few minutes. It's finished 
and we'll check on the console so this is our job uh, it took 30 seconds to, uh, to finish now let's check let's check the parquet file so we can list the bucket content with gsutil so the packet file should be in this in this bucket and you can see uh, the packet file created uh, on the um, on the specific uh, specific bucket output bucket um, which is uh, specified or, or listed in in the in the Python uh, Python file and now we need to make the cleanup and delete the cluster we already created also with gcloud command. So it will take also a few minutes. And it's done. Let's double check on the console. So on the console, we can see that the cluster is deleted. Your role when designing the solution is not only to think about cost and performance, but also keeping your data in open format like Apache Spark to avoid vendor locking. This is the difference between a good engineer and a great one, and you want to be great. So uh, below you will find the the, the um, Spark job. Uh, test it and share your comments.